While discovered less than a hundred years ago, isotopes are now used in a wide variety of scientific applications that touch the lives of almost every citizen in modern society. These applications include radiopharmaceuticals for cancer treatments and th other therapeutic applications, smoke detectors in our homes and offices to enable new sources of energy like nuclear fission, many other applications in energy production, industrial diagnostic methods, archaeology, geology, ecology, astronomy, and physics. Now that we know the applications of radioisotopes, you might be wondering what radioisotopes are. Radioactive isotopes, also called radioisotopes, are any several forms of the same chemical element with different masses whose nuclei are unstable and dissipate excess energy by spontaneously emitting radiation in the form of alpha, beta, and gamma rays. Some common isotopes are tritium and uranium-238. These isotopes are used in the nuclear energy field to produce energy and electricity for places like our homes, schools, and offices. Another important isotope that has various applications in the medical, industrial, and food industries is cobalt-60. Cobalt-60 has a mass number of 60 and an atomic number of 27. This means that it has 27 protons and 33 neutrons. Cobalt-60 is a product from the fission reaction of cobalt-59. It is created through the bombardment of a cobalt-59 nucleus, the parent nuclei, by using a nuclear bullet, which is a neutron. This forms a more unstable cobalt-60 nucleus, which is the daughter nuclei. Cobalt-60 has a half-life of 5.3 years, which is the amount of time it takes for half the mass of the parent nuclei to decay. This isotope will undergo beta decay and the parent nuclei, which is cobalt-60, will emit a beta particle, which is an electron, and form a daughter nuclei of nickel-60. Radioactive cobalt-60 is produced commercially through linear acceleration. It is also a byproduct of nuclear reactor operations when metal structures such as steel rods are exposed to neutron radiation. The isotope can be isolated in nuclear reactors and can be stored for further use. For many years, this isotope could only be produced in Canada, and today it continues to supply majority of the world's demands. You might be wondering what cobalt-60 is used for. This isotope has various industrial applications. For example, it is used in a process called industrial radiography to inspect metal parts and welds for defects. Beams of radiation are aimed at that object to be checked from a sealed source of cobalt-60. Radiographic film on the opposite side of the source is exposed when it's struck by radiation passing through the object being tested. More radiation will pass through if there are cracks or breaks in the metal parts and will be recorded on the film. By studying the film, structural problems can be detected. Cobalt-60 is also specifically made for use in gamma irradiation. This gamma sterilization process uses cobalt-60 radiation to kill microorganisms on a variety of different products. High energy photons are emitted from an isotope source, which is a cobalt-60, producing ionization throughout a product. In living cells, these disruptions can result in damage to the DNA and other cellular structures. These photon-induced changes at a molecular level cause the death of an organism or render them incapable of reproduction. This process is used to sterilize surgical equipment. Cobalt-60 generated gamma radiation is used in the medical field to destroy tumors. Cobalt-60 therapy is also known as gamma knife therapy. This form of therapy can be used anywhere on the body because it's so effective. It is particularly useful on brain tumor patients because it is so precise. Due to its effectiveness and simple design, doctors have used cobalt-60 therapy to treat cancer for almost 60 years. Now, let's look at the economic and social contributions of cobalt-60 by listing some of its pros. Cobalt-60 has impacted society and the economy in various positive ways. It has presented us with various advantages. For example, when it's absorbed by the body due to gamma knife therapy, it is excreted easily through urine and feces. Another advantage is that it remains active for a very long time since its half-life is about 5 years. It has increased the quality of life for millions of people, for example patients with brain cancer. 
Newer technology being developed using this isotope can drastically increase their life expectancy. It has created more jobs and technical skills in the nuclear medicine field. This has not only helped the economy, but helped society as a whole. And lastly, it produces a high amount of gamma radiation, which is used to sterilize our sur uh, surgical equipment and various food products. Although there are various advantages to cobalt-60, there are also a few disadvantages. For example, there are radioactive waste materials produced during the process of creating cobalt-60. It's difficult to dispose, and if not handled properly, it can cause skin burns, respiratory sensitivity, and kidney damage. Overall, cobalt-60 is an extremely useful radioactive isotope. It has impacted society in a positive way.